Hey, what's up guys? Filterless here. There's a small problem I have with this new unit and it's nothing major and can be fixed. And I wanted to make a video on it just in case anyone else is having it. So when I press this right trigger, you can see there is a good 10 plus percent that's not being registered when I hit this down. But if we go to the left one, you can see that one's working great. It registers all the way just like it's supposed to, but the right one is not. So the first thing you're going to want to do is bring up the click on the start menu button and then go to search and you're going to want to type USB controller and you will see set up USB game controllers click on that then you can exit out of this keyboard and right here you will see it's recognizing the ally controls as an Xbox 360 for Windows controller so all you need to do now is click on properties here the other thing you're going to make sure you do is if we try to move the joystick around to see what's happening, you'll see it just moves a cursor around. So we need to click on this command center button here to bring up the command center. And we need to switch the control mode to gamepad. So we just tap it once from auto. There's gamepad. It has to be on gamepad. So then just hit this button again, exit out of there. Now you can pull these triggers test out those out you can test your joysticks out so this is the left joystick right here you can see it moving around the right joystick is going to be the x and y axis so we can see x y we can move that around the z axis which is where i'm actually having an issue that's the triggers and you can see it's not fully registering that red bar right there on the z axis should be gone when i'm pulling this down the d-pad is going to be right here so you can make sure all of that's working every direction and then all of these numbers when you pull and push different buttons you'll see them light up it's kind of hard to get that on camera but you can make sure all your buttons are working and if you have a button that's not come in here and test it and see if it's actually not registering if it's not that could definitely be a hardware issue and now to fix the trigger issue it's pretty easy what we're going to do is press this armory crate button right here so we just pop that open then we're going to go to settings up here so tap on that you'll see control mode we need to click on configuration and then gamepad mode go ahead and click on configuration and then we're going to go down here to trigger so tap on that you'll see your left trigger here your right trigger right here and so what we need to do is when we're pressing it down it's only making it up part of the way so we need to drop the max range we have to press it by lowering this top slider for the 100 percent slider so let's go ahead and drop this down a little bit let's say we want to try 96 just to see so we can press the button again come back here and we've lost some of the red bar, but that's not enough. So we need to go ahead and open it back up, drop it down a little bit more. And let's just go a little extreme, 63. So now you see, as I press it, the red bar is already gone and we can still keep pressing it. So that's way too far. So you kind of just have to keep calibrating it. I already calibrated mine before I made the video. And I know that 87% is what I needed to set on mine. You can see, when we go back to the controller at 87%, if I push it down, perfect. And I wanted to add, this is also where you can change the vibration sensors, the intensity, and you can come in here to the right stick and actually set the outer threshold, so how far you would have to push the joystick. So if you lower this down, you'd only need to push it 70% of the way to get 100% motion if you drop that down i don't see a reason to do that and if you're getting some drift in the sticks at all so let's say you have them idle and it's slightly drifting you can increase your dead zone just a couple percent to where that stops so that can help a drift issue by just editing the settings in here for the left stick over here as well as the right stick and a great way to test that would be to come in here so you move your joysticks around and if you're seeing, let's say, let's pretend we have a little bit of drift here. So I'm just going to barely hold this. Now it's registering just a tiny bit. I would be able to add a dead zone to stop that from happening. So anyway, guys, I really hope this video helped you out, provided some value. Leave a like and sub below if it did, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.